Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Professor Royal Oak here. I'm in Future City. I did a little bit of training after yesterday's episode. Man, what? What a heartbreak. Six mods went down. The one that I'm gonna miss the most, I think, is Lapras. Like, Lapras was, I think, you know, a mod you would want to take to the Elite Four. It's my bad, because I wanted to rush and get through the episode. I had things to do that afternoon, so I wanted to squeeze in one more battle. I'm gonna address anybody that's watching this that says, hey, you, uh, you know, all your mods died. You technically whited out and lost the Nuzlocke. Uh, yeah. I agree, I did. But this is my first Nuzlocke, and I'm here with the homies. We've been watching this whole playthrough since the beginning. I kind of want to just keep going and like see how far I can get. Well, I mean, like obviously, like I'm probably gonna beat the game. But at the same time, if I run out of all in all my encounters and I run out of all my mons, then I guess I lose, maybe. But I, you know, it'll, I'll probably still be able to beat the game. So it's not that much of a challenge. But at the same time, it, it's still like challenging to, to battle and um, I don't want to lose Mons, so like I'm gonna try not to still. It's not like I'm like, okay, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna like just let everything faint. Anyways, I trained up the team a little bit. This is what we're rocking with now. We got Squidward in the front, Remoraid, level 20. Surf, lock on, water gun. Uh, Claire the Tratini. We've got Wispy the Skiploon. I'm actually gonna go down here. Seabiscuit, the Ponyta, Henry the Eevee, and Edgarette the Murkrow. I think we're gonna start off this episode with some encounters. Okay, so where are we gonna go? One thing I was thinking is we haven't got any encounters really in this first little stretch between Pallet Town, Viridian City, and Pewter City. The levels are gonna be very low because they're like, you know, OG roots. They're gonna be Rattatas and Pidgeys. So, you know, I feel like you can pick up a few more mons here and just see what we can get and, uh, you know, nickname a few more mons. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna roll into Pallet Town and we're gonna head into the grass and get an encounter right off the bat. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have Magnemite with me. That's okay. I'm not too worried about Route 1 mons. I don't even know if I'll be able to catch anything that's new. So we're gonna get an encounter here. We're gonna see what it is. It's a Rattata. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to my very first encounter, the one I crit. That's okay. We'll add the Rattata to the team. Or we won't, cause I just crit it and knocked it out. I just wanna see what else is here. I think it's just Rattatas and Pidgeys. Yeah, there's the Pidgey. Well, I guess we have a we have a Pidgey, so like, we're gonna do a trainer battle, just kidding. And he's gonna send out a Smoochum. I'm gonna switch into Wispy, see what happens. He leers. Super effective against, but Electric's not super effective against a Swift. Man, I was training Wispy up because I wanted Wispy to be my next grass mon. It had a really cool move set with Synthesis and the Leech Seed and Poison Powder and I was gonna teach his Giga Drain and it was just gonna be a really sick grass type mon. Leech Seed takes the Alakid out. Wow, Wispy. Wispy, I'm, I'm upset about that one. Just a random trainer on Route 1. I like was like rolling into Route 1 like, oh, we're not, you know, it doesn't matter, we're, we're good. Rattatas and Pidgeys. We're gonna catch this level two Rattata here. Unless it runs away on us. Maybe you can catch Bulbasaur on this route. Uh, maybe I should have checked around a little bit more. I just caught the Rattata though, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take this Rattata. I didn't nickname it, I totally forgot to nickname it, but you know what, that's okay. If we, if we end up um, using it, then I'll nickname it. Okay, it's nighttime now. We're gonna get another encounter here in the grass. I think I already know what we're getting. And that's gonna be, this is not what I was expecting. This is not what I was expecting, but I'm stoked on it. Shout out to Danielle. Danielle loves Slugma. I'm gonna try to catch this thing real quick because I don't want it to run from us. Uh, we got a female out, so I don't want to use the love ball. We're gonna just throw an ultra ball at this level five Slugma and hope we get it. If I do, um, which we do, I'm gonna name it after Danielle because Danielle loves Slugma and he's, he's super cute. So I think I think that's I think that's suiting. Slugma, the lava Pokemon. These group together in areas that are hotter than normal. If it cools off, its skin hardens. Oh, it's Danielle! Oh yay! Just in time for Slugma. <laughs> no way! 
You brought the slugma. You brought the slugma, Danielle. So this is this one's for you. I'm just gonna roll in the grass here for a second, see if maybe they. It's a spinner rack. We're gonna catch them. Nice spinner rack. The string spit Pokemon. Interesting. If prey becomes ensnared in the nest of spun string, it waits motionless until it becomes dark. We're gonna nickname this Spinarak Charlotte, and we're gonna send Charlotte to the PC. We'll keep rolling here. Um, Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest is what's next. Now, one really neat thing about this game is Viridian Forest wasn't in the original game, but the developers for Crystal Clear decided to put it in. Uh, we're gonna look around a little bit and see if we can find some items, and if we get an encounter, we get an encounter. Nothing crazy though. Oh, looks like I see there's a Sudowoodo. So we could get a Sudowoodo. What was that? Did you guys see that? The guy here with the magic card. Let's talk to the magic card. The poor creature is flopping around aimlessly. Yeah, well, it's a magic card. I'm not really that upset about it. Let's talk to the guy. Huh? Who are you? I see. Pokemon or... Pokemon? Hmm. I see. People call me Neff. I'm here trading my magic card. It's, well, you know what? I have an idea. How about a battle? Chap really wants me to jump into this battle. I hit B. The only winning move is not to play. <laughs> Let me just double check the team real quick, see where we're at. Alright. Neff, good evening, Oak. Enjoying scenic Viridian Forest? How about a battle? Good luck! We're gonna face Neff. Neff wants to battle. He has two Pokemon. He's gonna send out a Fero at level 34. Okay, I think we're good then. I think we're good. Chat's got more faith in me than I have in myself. We're gonna Thundershock and the Fero's gonna try attack. Uh, you know, speaks for itself. We're gonna Sonic Boom. Try attack doesn't do much. I realized the animations aren't on, so I'm so sorry. That's like, you know, really crummy. There's the magic card, level 35. Neff says, hoping for divine intervention here. Level 35 magic card. So I was overthinking this thing. We're gonna thunder chalk. We're gonna knock it out. All right, all right, we did it. Static holding it down. Neff was defeated. This loss is too much to bear. I imagine he, he probably talks like that. I struggled my way here. But you pulled it off! I'll heal you up. Sweet, thanks man. Pokemon are ready for more. Oh, since you beat me somehow, it's dangerous to go alone. Take these. And we're gonna get five friend balls. Okay, made a friend here. That's pretty cool. You got a friend in me. Hey, or ha, see what I did there? Of course you did. Yeah, you made me sing. <laughs> We're friends, right? You made me sing. I'm so happy. And then we're gonna go into the door here. I think there's a door here. Yeah, there's a door here. I'm gonna talk to someone here. Shh, I think that this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if a Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me, so I have a favor to ask. Take that ever on my desk to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. And we're gonna get the old amber. We're gonna keep going up here, and there's the Pokemon Center. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. It's old news, but I like it. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, everybody that wants Kanto remakes every single year. Hello there, have ya got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a swell magic off for just 500 Poke Dollars. What do you say? Hmm. I guess, like. I guess mine as well, it's 500 bucks. We lost shrimp, and we're gonna get a magic card. Oh my goodness, we get our first shiny of the playthrough, just like that. Wow! Of course it's a magic card. We're gonna add gold shrimp to our team here. Well, I don't give refunds. Don't worry, man. 
I don't think we're gonna be. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be asking for any real refunds here. We got Gold Shrimp, the Magic Carp. He's got a. He's got the item Berserk, Ber Berserk Gene. Okay. And he's got Splash. Gold Shrimp. Wow. Poor little manky. I, you know, he's looking for this Mareep, and then he. Wait, what? 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 What was that? Where am I? Where am I? Grizz's lab. Yo, we're in a totally new area. I just accidentally hopped over... Can I do it now? I accidentally hopped over this little ledge here, not even knowing I could do that. I was literally just like chilling, speeding around, and then jumped over this ledge here, and came to this completely new area. We got an encounter here, I might have to buy- okay, no, it's a Rattata. I was gonna say, I might have to catch this. Wow. We just found like a totally new area, guys. And gals. And non-binary pal. Check out this computer here. Oh, turn on the PC! So it's just a PC, okay. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy, it's probably Grizz. Oh, hey, howdy! Howdy! Wait, how'd you get in here? The door, huh? I guess that makes sense. What's your name? Oak? I'm Grizz. Nice to meet ya. Welcome to my lab. I was asked to stop calling it my science lair. I do some pretty cool things here. I maintain the online tutor database, databases. Excuse me, I'll say that again. I maintain the online tutor databases for both Kanto and Johto, you know. The server's right over there. Don't mess with it. It's touchy. So yeah, if you were wondering who's that PC that was, it's mine. I wasn't, man. I, I, I was assuming that this was your lab, so... Hey, I could use a bug tester. I'll give you access to something I've been working on. Using this, you can exploit the hidden potential of your Pokémon. And we're going to unlock the Battle Tutor. I don't know what this is, but I'm so stoked. The Battle Tutor is something I came up with. A lot of Pokemon are suited for moves that, for some reason, they normally can't learn themselves. That's amazing. TMs are one way to give Pokemon new moves using technology, so I use those same principles, but on a much grander scale. This'll give them the edge in battle, or help them with other things. If you haven't already, visit my colleagues over in Goldenrod City or Lavender Town. I've collected those databases as well in my PC. So those are probably the event move tutors. So he's got that as well, I guess. I came up with some new battle move ideas. Wanna test them out right now? Chat? Do we battle Grizz? I am gonna battle Grizz, but I'm just gonna change Mankey out, because I don't want Mankey to lead. No? What are you afraid of, my science? And also, why don't we check the PC? Grizz's PC. Yo, yeah, why don't we, why don't we, like, just quickly see what the team can learn before we roll into battle as well? You must be a night person like me. Who needs sunlight anyways? I came up with some new battle move ideas. Wanna test them out right now? Let's get wild. We're gonna face Grizz, the battle move tutor. Researcher Grizz, he's got six mods. Something tells me this is gonna be a tough battle. He's gonna send out Temperance, a level 35 Quillfish. We're gonna send out Static and Thunderbolt and take out the Quillfish. Level 35 Sunflora. I have a weird feeling the Sunflora has Flamethrower. Static, living on four. We might lose some mods here, everyone. I'm gonna swap into Rattata. We're gonna go into Edgarette and fly. Sunny day, that's scary. We hit the Sunflora with the fly and knock out Fianna, the, f the Sunflora. Uh, get some XP. Spruce Lee! <laughs> Spruce Lee! Oh my goodness.
goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we can anticipate the rock move coming from Spruce Lee. So I'm going to swap into Pork Chop, anticipating a rock type move. There's the rock slide. Pork Chop goes down. But we're going to try. He gets a surf off. Doesn't do very much damage, or she does rather. Rock slide. Squidward's down. That's 20. I guess I'll just wait till the end and we'll keep looking. That's 20. Not looking great, folks. It's not looking great. Uh, we're against a rock type. Sea Biscuit, not great against rock types. Edgaret, not great against rock types. Static, not great against rock types. I'm gonna send in Edgaret and I'm gonna just hope. Let me double check here. Let me double check. I think I'm gonna magnitude and hope it's enough to just knock it out. But let me double check here real quick. Roll the dice on the magnitude. I think this is our best option, is rolling the dice on the magnitude. I mean, I think Sea Biscuit's gonna be faster, so that's great. I think we're gonna go with magnitude. Magnitude 9! Doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Tries to hit us with the... Tries to hit us with a rock slide and misses. Wall rain is now appeared, if anyone wants to catch a wall rain. That was super disappointing, I agree. Um, I'm gonna high jump kick. Does a lot more damage. And Spruce Lee gets the rock slide off. Sea Biscuit goes down. So if I high jump kicked twice there, I think we would have got it. I'm gonna fly with that Garrett. Oh no. That one sucks. That one sucks. Mock punch, I should have extreme speed. Oh, it's not like I was gonna win anyways. Wow, that's super sad. That's super sad. Hey everyone, this was a very long recording session for this video, so I've decided to split it into two parts. Thank you to everyone who watched this on YouTube after the fact. If you could like the video, that would mean a lot to me. It really does help to promote my video and get it out there to other viewers. And if you've seen a few of my videos already and you aren't subscribed, just hit that subscribe button. You obviously like my content, so it would mean a lot to me if you hit subscribe. Okay, part two will be posted uh, tomorrow. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.